Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is Monday, the 15th of August, 2022. Uh, six o'clock or so in the evening. It is 87 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Only 53% humidity. It's actually almost nice out. 31 degrees Celsius. So, a uh, couple things. I, I believe I mentioned uh, last week that my youngest daughter had uh, COVID going around. Um, or she was, she wasn't feeling good. Well. It's Monday night, and I'm supposed to be going over there for dinner again tonight, but she still has a lingering cough. So, she's testing negative, but <laughs> just to be safe, I'm not going to dinner tonight. We'll see how, how her cough does by the end of the week, and maybe we'll go, we'll go then. Um. I'd like to get over to see the see the grand brat. He started school last Thursday. Uh, he's going. He goes to a an advanced school. They start earlier than um, the local public schools. So uh, right now I am. Headed to Harbor Freight, and I got—I have to go to Long Way. Unfortunately, uh, the, all the other ways have the speed humps, and they just—they tear me up. I mean, if I don't have to go over them, I would really rather not. That bouncing and carrying on, you know, just. It aggravates my neck. So. We'll go the long way. Uh, see, is this the road that I want? No. want to head out to um, the Halloween store. Figure out where that's at at the moment. And uh, you know what? I went down the wrong road. <laughs> Chihuahua. Need to pay more attention. Anyway, yeah, I want to go to uh, the Halloween store and see about getting a wig for Ravina and getting it, getting her transferred over to here, which means cleaning out this seat first off. And, uh, Maybe cleaning out the backpack. Depends if the temperatures if the temperatures go down like they did last night. Last night they caught me off guard. But if I go out tonight, rig up a light and what have you. Um, this is the road I wanted. I may get I may tackle the, the backpack in there. At least get some of that stuff out that's rattling or get it re reorganized somewhat. But uh, I'll tell you what, my sleep schedule is so messed up. I tried going to sleep last this morning. I don't know, 
like five o'clock or something. Tossed and turned, tossed and turned. Finally said to heck with it around seven. Got up and went out and made myself something to eat. Came back in and started flipping through YouTube and shorts and reels and whatnots. And it was like 9.30 before I actually went to bed. And didn't, I woke up about three and then just kind of laid there contemplating what I was going to do. So it was like 3.30ish by the time I got up. 3.20, 3.30ish time. Like I, didn't, I didn't roll over and like look at the clock until you know, I rolled over to look at the clock when I was getting up. So, and by looking at the clock, I mean touching my phone so that it pops up with the time. <sighs> Anyhow, I need to, I want to break that. I mean, that's, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work for me long term. I've said this a couple times, you know, getting up at, at 3.30, 4 o'clock, it's going to be dark by 5.30, 6 o'clock. Not too long from now. So I'd literally be going to bed in the dark and getting up in the dark. Uh, plus there's things I want to do. The weather's changing. Um, I just found a a uh, a new spot. I didn't actually find a new spot. I I found out that a spot that I've been to is actually available to be like you can spend the night there and not get harassed by, by anybody. So and that's pretty close. We'll go. We'll go check that out. But uh, you know, it's not not just that one spot. I just want to get. I want to get this thing organized, so I can get out and do, you know, one or two nights out. And in order to really do that, that means I have to, you know, I have to be able to go to sleep by like one or two o'clock, and then you know, wake up by seven or eight o'clock. So, and maybe, maybe a little later, just depends on, you know, when the sun comes up and where I'm at, if it's a busy parking lot or, or what have you, you know, I mean, I can always get up earlier and go home and go back to bed, but Ain't nothing but a saying. Let's see. Amazon. <laughs> Amazon ticked me off yesterday. Um, suppose I've gotten a delivery. And when I did, when it wasn't there, I went in and checked... You know, they, they, they should, you can check where the package was delivered. Well, the picture, the picture was clearly neither one of my doors. It wasn't my door or my brother's door. I have no idea where it is, or where, you know, where that door is. So I have no idea where my package is. But when you contact Amazon and they're like, well, you know, it shows it was delivered, but sometimes they show it delivered earlier than it actually is, and it'll be there in the next two days. No, no, no. It was delivered to the wrong address, but they won't, they don't give you that option. And then they're like, you know, chat with Amazon representative now. A computer is not a representative. I don't care what you say. 
<laughs> you know, you go into the chat and it's like, how can we help you? My package wasn't, I didn't, I didn't get my package or my package was misdelivered or, you know, I tried like three or four different times. The bot always came back with the same comment. You know, well, we're sorry, but it shows that it was delivered. Sometimes it's marked delivered before it's actually delivered. Please give it. I don't know until close of business today I think it was um, and get back at them and they'll replace it or refund it all right just a pain in the neck and then some another item that was supposed to be delivered yesterday has been delayed in shipment and I probably won't get it until Thursday. It was supposed to be one day shipping, which usually means it's in the local warehouse. And it shows that it's in the local warehouse. But I don't know. <laughs> according to my brother yesterday, though, according to my brother yesterday, uh, several packages were misdelivered because uh, my one neighbor got packages for a place further back in the in the neighborhood. Um, the maintenance man had packages delivered to his house that weren't for him. So. Oh, three dollars and forty-six cents for getting fuel. I think that's close to what I paid the other day. I'm still well over three quarters of a tank. But anyway, it's difficult to track numbers in our neighborhood. Uh, I was talking with my with my daughter about this the other day. She's setting up a couple of new neighborhoods, and. They're going to uh, totally change the numbering. So, like when you come in the gate, you got one, two, three, four, five, six on around, and you can follow the numbers. The one I'm at now, it goes up, it goes like basically one, two, three, four, five, and then it jumps to 30, and then it'll be like, oh, well, you know, we want to put in another another trailer so we're going to slip number 42 in between 27 and 16 <laughs> you know ah. so yeah it's a bit of a bit of a confuddle especially for you know delivery drivers or whatever they're, they're constantly stopping and there's there's no map at the front of the neighborhood which was something I suggested and my daughter's going to look into doing for those of us who know where we live it's not a big deal and if you're trying to you know talk to sorry, tell a, a friend or somebody how to get there um, you know how to describe where you're you know how to get there but delivery drivers and whatnot they don't so the GPS isn't isn't any big help it just basically shows the whole area but anyhow we have arrived at Harbor Freight Find me a parking spot here. So, and I think we're just going to go ahead and let it go at 15 minutes or 16 minutes, whatever it turns out to be. So, let me know what you think, folks. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Wherever did y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice? If you'd like to share me around your social media, that'd be fantastic. Go check me out on Facebook or Instagram. 
check one of my other non rambling channels or videos. Um, if your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We promise tomorrow, people. We promise their next breath. Until I see you all again, I hope you have a fandoculous day. Slaunchy, y'all. Bye-bye. Uh.